Hi, I'm Jason from AC Delco. With constantly changing technology, more than ever, there's a need for programming or reprogramming control modules. I would like to walk you through reprogramming a control module on a GM vehicle. The easiest way for the service technician to access service programming is through the technical delivery system at www.acdelcotds.com. After you log in, on the main menu, on the right side of the page, you will see this bullet, Service and Programming Information. Click on Service and Programming Information for a list of prices for subscribing to the programming service. If you have already purchased your subscription, you can click Access Your Subscription. This will take you to the TIS SPS screen. Click on the SPS tab to start the application. When you choose to start SPS, you may have Java messages appear. Click OK to install the software. There may also be an attempt to install the J2534 driver or the MDI drivers. From the menu selections, highlight your diagnostic tool. In this case, we are going to be using the J2534 MDI. Decide whether or not you are programming or reprogramming next. We are going to reprogram an ECU. This is going to perform a J2534 pass-through procedure. Connect the J2534 device to the, piece, to the vehicle and the PC. Turn ignition off. Verify the vehicle's battery is fully charged. Turn ignition on, engine off. Connect the J2534 device to the data link connector. Then connect your J2534 device to the PC. Switch the J2534 device on and wait for the device to get ready. After programming, the technician will be given the opportunity to clear diagnostic trouble codes from all ECUs on this vehicle. The technician may also want to record DTCs and freeze frame data before continuing. If it's a generic J2534 device, you will have to build the vehicle through the drop down menus. Make sure to verify this is the correct VIN number for the vehicle you're working on and select the module that you would like to program from the list. For example, some modules that you may be able to reprogram could be ECM, Engine Control Module, TEHCM, Transmission Electronic Hydro Control Module, or even a Body Control Module, BCM. I am going to select Programming Sequence ECM TCM. Programming type will be normal. From this screen, because it's an ECM-TCM combination module, we need to select from the list for the available reprogramming selections. On the lower portion of the screen, you should be able to review the history to determine if this is the correct calibration for your vehicle. There could be choices to select from, so it's a good idea to review the history. This screen is showing you all the available calibrations that are about to occur. Select Next. You should see a bar graph starting to progress. This could take a few minutes based on the file size. This box appears showing that the ECM and TCM have been reprogrammed successfully. The final instructions may have you checking for codes or even programming a different module as part of the process. So follow the controller specific instructions and service information. Examples could be idle relearn, case relearn, or clear shift adapts. That completes the process for reprogramming a control module on a GM vehicle. I'm Jason. Thanks for choosing AC Delco.